Hi Ladybirds, fantastic to see you again. So our new day today, one more than number 20, and we get to this really big number, 21. And today is Thursday, and it's Thursday the 21st of January. Okay, you might notice that I put this down here. I think I might have told you before, because it's one of our new die graphs called which we'll be learning about soon. Okay, so yesterday I started telling you a little bit about that new song. And I've been trying to have a little bit of a growth mindset. Now what that means is I've been trying really, really hard, trying really, really hard with my singing, because singing isn't, isn't the bit of the day that Mr. Briscoe thinks he's the most amazing at, at all. But I'm still trying and I'm not giving up and I hope that you're showing that perseverance at home and you're carrying on trying. You can maybe have a little pause and have a think now. Something maybe that you've been finding a little bit hard at home, something that maybe has been a little bit difficult and maybe see if you can have a go at trying a little bit like I am with my singing on a video <laughs> um, to see if you can have a go at thinking about something that you can carry on being a bit like Mr. Bump. Do you remember Mr. Bump in school? Mr. Bump was someone who said, never gives up, keeps on trying, always tries his hardest and his best. Okay, and that's what I want you to see you can do your very best, see you can do, okay? So you might want to pause and talk about that. I am now gonna have a go at singing our song again. See if you can maybe join in with me to um, drown out my singing. So it goes like this. It's to the tune of Free Blind Mice. Hopefully you get that. It goes, Nine, 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 emergency, emergency, people can help in an accident, police and fire and ambulance, if you need help you know what to do, call nine, 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 nine. Well done, Lady Bears, if you were helping sing that song with me at home. Um, great effort, Lady Bears. So, I hope you enjoy having a little sing of that song. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of your day. So, we are going to have our little maths meeting first now. I'm going to do that with you. You have continued to got your uh, phonics time that you can look at today, which will be good. Um, to see we've also got choosing time again got a little bit detective work for you which will be fun and um, we've also got your um oh in fact and gone it's not math time is it i nearly made that mistake before and um, it's actually our jigsaw time apologies i think i made that mistake yesterday so it'll be our jigsaw time that you're going to have a go at doing then, and to see, we've also got your super story time. And you might be able, um, if your grown ups are able to, to come in to collect your packs from the outside of school. So we might even see you through the window and give you a wave if you come or, or have a wave to your grown ups. Okay. Right then, ladybirds. So today I've got a little estimation challenge for you. Now, for your estimation challenge, I have got two jars full of exciting things. You can see that in this jar I've got minions, I've got exciting characters, I've got some wonderful people that help us as well. And then in this jar I've got some dominoes when you make a little domino run, which is really exciting. Now, what I want you to see if you can have a little look at is in my jars... Which one do you think has got the most things in? See if you can have a little think. That's an estimating skill. It's not the easiest, but an estimating skill that you might be able to do. Now you might have a little think about the size of them. How many you think there are. You might do a little estimate for each jar and think, oh, how many do we think is in this one? How many do we think is in this one? What might there be all together? See if you can maybe pause and just have a little talk about that at home. So, Lady Reds, I've put out on the table exactly what we've got here. Now, this might have surprised you a little bit because 
in our little estimation challenge here, we've actually got, I think, just by estimating myself, more of the dominoes than I think we have of our characters. Because I can see that our characters are up here, but our dominoes added one row, then I had to go on and do another row. So I think we might end up having more of our dominoes. But it was funny because when we looked in the jars, it looked like the jar, um, or oh, sorry, the jug, it looked like it was very, very full when we had these container when we had the people in. Hmm. Did you do that at home as well? Maybe you did. I'm just going to just double check now because the best way to check is to do my counting. So you could help count with me. So how many characters have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, how many did you think were in there? I wonder if your estimate was maybe close, or maybe it was well off. It doesn't really matter, it's just a bit of fun, so don't worry if it wasn't too close. Here's our number 8 on our number track, so I can see. I might even look, put under my number 8 a little dot there just to remind me how many. Now the dominoes, I think there's more than 8 dominoes. Let's have a little look, see if you can help me, because I'll definitely need help with counting this time. We've got 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, that's even more than I thought. Now, we're getting into the big numbers now, so just try your best to see if you can carry on counting. 21, 22... 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh my goodness. Now, on my number track, 28 isn't even there. So I'd put so, so many dominoes in the jar that it was past the number track. So it's funny that because when I looked in, I was thinking that maybe we had more little characters in our jug, but in actual fact, we had loads and loads and loads of our dominoes, and so there were more of those. And that's why estimating sometimes can be a little bit of a funny one, because sometimes you have to look really carefully and think about how big something is, because you might have something very, very small that you have lots of, to help you with estimating, or you might have some really big things that you only have a few of, and it can look a little bit different. Okay, well done for having a go at that challenge today. I hope you really enjoy your learning time. Bye.